Lastly, man, um, you know, about a month after we'll have Devin Haney and Lomachenko fight. Is the winner of this fight the best lightweight in the world, or, or do they got to see the winner of that fight to really decide that? Or what's your opinion on it? Well, it's the same division, right? Yeah. So, um, and you got Stevenson in there, too, but he just moved up. Exactly. So you just named a couple guys. You know, uh, if Stevenson is still there, and if he stays there, then I think that you can't say that anyone else is the best until Stevenson faces um, the winner of Loma Haney and then Gervonta Davis and David and uh, Ryan Garcia and also keep in mind that uh, you know well, let, how about this let's change up the, the subject to the Davis versus I'm oh, sorry the um, Lomachenko right fight and Devin Haney right. honestly man I think Devin Haney is gonna is gonna is gonna uh, give a great performance and I'm leaning towards really depth Be know? beating him in a way he hasn't been beaten yet because no, no, it's been close losses no one's like with his ass it's, you know, it's, kind of it's uh, one loss right he has two to two Salido losses to Salido, yeah. Both but I mean fights. no one really considers the first one because I mean he was inexperienced right right but I mean I'm wrong I'm wrong yes credit to Salido yes he lost the first one uh, but he got a lot better I get your point he got a lot okay. better Lomachenko uh, yeah. second loss to Lomachenko was that one? Um, yeah. yeah, and then I think that for sure. I mean, Devin Haney is a different fighter than uh, Salido, and then uh, <laughs> is a different fighter from Salido. Hey, Kiana, hey, what's up, dude? Good to see you, Devin. Same here, dude. How are you? Good. Great, fantastic, dude. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, I think that uh, Devin has a lot to, to prove as well. And he has a lot of talent. A lot of people don't know Devin Haney, but Devin Haney is a talented fighter with a lot of heart. That was a guy you shared the ring with, right? On you didn't, you didn't spar Ryan. I sparred Devin. Spar Devin. Right. I sparred Devin. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shared the ring in, inside a uh, boxing gym. So yes, um, he's a good, good kid. He's a talented fighter. Oh, well, he's not a kid anymore. He's, he's, he's a grown. Man, right. He's a grown man. But he has a lot of talent and he got a lot of heart. Has a good chin. And um, I think that his technical abilities will help him come out victorious in this fight. You mentioned I'm leaning towards Devin. Let's go, Devin. You mentioned with Ryan and Tank. Part of why you didn't spar him is they're, they're smaller guys. But Haney, with his length, he's, he's taller than them, Stevenson and Tank. And is he going to be able to be a full fledged welterweight because of that? You know, he's at lightweight now, but he'll be a, not just a, uh, not a blown up lightweight, but a legit welterweight. Yeah, well, I mean, Broner did, right? Broner, Broner was he that height. He was considered height. a blown up lightweight, though. Like, he, it wasn't like De La Hoya and Mosley when they but became I'm, full fledged welterweight. But I'm comparing yeah. Broner to Devin. Right, right. When it right. comes to body size. Right. I think Devin's a little taller, right? A little longer. Longer, yes. Yeah, taller, yeah. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. That's the reason that I pulled him in. I pulled right. him in to sparring for the Broner fight. Another guy you shared the ring with. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, he had his height and um, longer reach, which is fantastic for me, you know, to prepare for the fight. And he, he has heart, you know, he'll fight, he's not scared of anybody. And um, yeah, so I think he's a talented kid, a, a talented a fighter, world champion. He's a unified world champion. I'm sorry, I'm leaving I'm that out. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing him prove to everybody what he has, you know, what he has uh, in store. And uh, what about you, man? Are you, you going to come back to the ring? Do you, do you, you want yeah, another man, piece I'll be of back. Liam Smith? Oh, or, for sure, man. I want, I, want, I want a rematch with Liam Smith. You guys 100%. cool now, though? You know, I, I don't know him like that. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know what I mean? I don't know him like that. But um, I would definitely like a, a rematch, you know, a second fight. That's one that I, I would definitely be uh, pursuing. Right now, I'm taking a little bit of a break. Yeah. I uh, have a couple projects which I'm working on. So, I look forward to, you know. Uh, get some things moving uh, outside of boxing. Once I have that going, then I'll come right back to the ring. God willing. Yeah, you, you never, know, I love you never this let sport. your weight go up, man. Oh, man, God willing, you know, I'll be back soon. I got. I feel that I have a lot more to give to the fans. I have a lot of fans, you know, reach out to me and tell me when I'm coming back. So I know that um, they're eager to see me back in the ring. So God willing, you know, I'll be back in soon and uh, back to entertain them and give them great fights once again. But it's going to be a different style, that's for sure. I'm really looking forward to what I'm going to show next.